Hi, this is your girl Renee, and I am just roaming around my yard after working in my yard all day long. Whew, uh, your girl is tired, but I wanted to make a short little video to show you my last blooms that are happening in fall. I am so excited that I can still say, <clears throat> excuse me, that I have some flowers that are still in bloom and looking as beautiful as if they were in spring. So let me just show you. Look at this dianthus. Look how beautiful this pink dianthus is. And then I have that sedum, that autumn joy back here looking gorgeous. And then I don't know about you guys, but let me know if your foxgloves are still thriving and blooming. Because I have one on the other side of my garden that is the, the leaves and stuff are all green and lush like that. And they are giving me these beautiful pink blooms. And then I have a burgundy corabelle back there. Gorgeous. Look at that combination back there. And then my hydrangea. It's still looking good. And then on my other planter, as I told you, my foxgloves are doing amazing. And my other pink dianthus is doing just as well. And my hosta back there is giving me my yellow fall color. And then I have my other sedum. It's just a joy and a pleasure to be able to walk around your garden and still see some beautiful flowers blooming and look at my knockout pink rose look at this rose look how gorgeous that rose is and look and I still have some more buds trying to open up look at this one it's still trying to give me a beautiful pink rose look how nice and curled that um, rose is and look how soft it looks Look at the color. It looks so velvety. And I have a whole knockout bush that are giving me beautiful fall color. Beautiful. I love this bush. And it has a lot of pink blooms on it. Even this one down here has a bloom. And look at this one. Look at the coloration on this one. Look at that. Look at that. It's real light in the middle and then it has this little pink, dark pink on the edges of the petals and then it has some more rosebuds that are trying to form. But this one, I didn't even know that this knockout rose had this variation of this rose on it. Hmm. Beautiful. And there's another one up here. Look at this one. Beautiful love it and then over here is just one of my sedums that is um, showing me its fall color along with some of my um, marigolds that I'm, I'm going to enjoy them today because the next two days we're supposed to have rain so that'll take that joy away but look gorgeous even though half of them are going to seed even next to my um, sedum that is um, changing into its fall colors. I still love it. And that curly kale, the stem, I always cut all the leaves off because I love that burgundy stem that the curly kale has in the fall. It's so beautiful. It's just a good combination. And then this one is usually an annual. But this is that... that um, that kind of accent grass that you get in all the garden centers. They come in burgundy. And this one came in this very beautiful chartreuse green. I've had this one in this pot for two years. And I don't do anything. I just let it stand there in the winter. And this is what it gives me every year. I just trim it back in spring to, re to give it another boost of energy. And it always never disappoints me. It always comes out beautiful just like this. And then as you guys already know, I have my Japanese maple. Look at that color. Let me stand back so you can get a full view of this gorgeous 
Japanese maple. And I love the color in fall because it gets this blood burgundy red. Gorgeous. Isn't that just spectacular? And I, I have to trim it up, especially on the edges over here. It needs to be trimmed up. But I just love the color so much. And I love how big and lush it gets that it takes everything I have to not want to chop on it. But I need to chop on it. I gotta give it a haircut. Huh. I don't know if I'll cry or what, but you know, I gotta just do it. And this is where I have been working on my my redesign of my bed. So I have cleaned up all the trees that I have cut down and I have cleaned the upper level all the way down to the dirt. I right on that that right side over there. I don't know if you guys can see it, this right side over here, I still have all this to take out. But I worked on this today, so I'm very proud of myself, because there was so much leaves up there. So many leaves. Ugh, and it was slippery and muddy, but your girl hung in there, and I did not let it stop me. I got up there, I completed my mission, and so I'm very, very proud. All right, let's see what else fall color we can see. Oh, look at that hosta. Look at that beautiful yellow of that hosta right there. Oh my gosh, let's go take a close-up look. And these bums that I always show you all the time are still giving me fabulous color. Love, love, love these mums. I can't never say that enough how much... This color looks so amazing. In my flower arrangements, when I use these uh, mums, they make whatever flower arrangement you're putting together, it just makes them pop. So, if you ever want a mum, this is my first suggestion of the color you should have in your garden. Love this mum. And then I have this Gerber Daisy. Remember? It was just, it was, had, there was a bud on it and it hadn't opened up yet. But look at it now. It is saying, look at me. I am open and I want you guys to enjoy my beauty. Look at the leaves. The leaves are all nice and green and lush and this bloom. Look at that. Gorgeous. I love this. This Gerber Daisy. And this is a perennial. Normally, Gerber daisies aren't perennials, but this one is a perennial. All right, are you ready for the yellow hosta? It's usually green, variegated, but in the fall, this is what it turns into. Look at that color. Oh my goodness. This hosta is showing out. Look at it. You can still see where it still has some of the green, but then the fall color kicks in. And it turns into this yellow mustard-like color. Let's get a close look up on one of these leaves. Look at this. This one right here. Look at it. You could tell it's starting to turn colors to where I'm going to have to cut it back for the fall. And I'm going to have to do that after a couple of days of rain. But look at the green. And then the yellow look at the the veins of this hosta look at the edges how it turns yellow i just think this is amazing love it let me stand back so you can get another really good look at it and then as we pan over here you can see my other japanese maple let's go onto the porch and let's look at some of my flowers up there these flowers are still giving me a show, too. Look at that. Gorgeous. Love it. I'm telling you, just because it's fall doesn't mean all the beauty of your flowers go away. And these are my marigolds. Still showing out. Still showing that they still have some beauty left in them. And I have a whole bunch of my marigolds and they're really already setting a lot of seeds see these 
from seed pods. I'm going to take some of these off today because when it rains, they'll get still a little mushy. It's going to maybe take a while to dry out. So let's go up on my, my deck. Got my blanket flower still doing a great job. And look what the seed pods look like. They're like little pom-poms. Isn't that cute? Little pom-poms. Love it. And as you know, you have my strawberries. Their leaves are gorgeous. All red and beautiful. Look at the violas. Look how beautiful they are. Gorgeous. And my mustard greens. And that combination looks beautiful together. And then we have my yellow mums that are still doing great. And my cabbage. They're coming along nicely. And my red mums, they're almost at their end. I say after a couple more days, I'll give them a haircut and probably start planting them in my landscape. But this is what I wanted to show you. Look at this pansy right here. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness. But I got another pansies over here that is even better than that one. Another blanket flower. And then this yellow mom. I definitely have to give that a haircut. But look at this pansy. Look at this one right here. Oh, gorgeous. I'm trying to get a close up so you guys can see it. Look how the lavender, light lavender on the outside and the real dark purple. And then you have that little bit of that yellow in the middle. Look at that. Beautiful. Love it. Ah, I'm telling you. Oh, got to check this one out. Let me see if I can pan. You guys see these. Look at this combination. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. But let me show you my white mum. That is over here. Oh, and my flower arrangement that I did. With the ornamental kale and the violas. They are starting to perk up. They look beautiful. Look at this one. Love it. Gorgeous. Love it. And the mums are still trying to open that ornamental kale, that cabbage, that pink. Beautiful. And look at the Osaka white. Look, I didn't know that the Osaka white, normally it's all white, but I didn't know it, it turned this color with the green on the, on the leaves. It has that green and white variegated leaves and then in the middle is that going to turn purple oh my goodness that is beautiful i didn't even know that was happening well we're going to keep an eye on that and see what happens oh but let me show you the white mum look at the white mum remember i told you how i normally don't do white mums because they get all dirty and stuff this one is hanging in there. It's it's doing great. And then in the back, I have this mum over here. Beautiful. And then I have this pansy. Right there. Gorgeous. So I just wanted you guys to know to get out there. Oh, I have to show you one more thing. One more thing before I say goodbye to you guys. Let's walk over here. And of course, all my trash and stuff that I was um, working on today. Um, I have my Shasta Daisies. That's still trying to give me a good little show. But this is what I wanted to show. Oh, my fellow gardener, Bernie, gave me some mums. So I planted all 12 of them down here. You can see them down the row. All of these are the mums that she gave me all of these down here are all the mums so I'm overwintering them here and I'm going to see how they do if they survive I'll be happy 
And if they don't, well, they're, you know, they they were meant to go to plant heaven. All right, this is what I wanted to show you. Remember I showed you how my fall leaves are all on the ground now? Look at that. Spectacular, right? And this looks like a Christmas tree right here. Christmas tree looks like it was decorated by Mother Nature. See with all the leaves and stuff on it? I think that is so beautiful. But this is what I wanted to show you. I gotta hurry up because I know I don't want my video to be too, too long. Look at the color of my yellow dogwood tree. Isn't that beautiful? Let me give you a close up of it. Look at that. Gorgeous. All right, that's what I wanted to show you as my last picture of what is still blooming in my garden. Okay, you guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like this content, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Oh, and welcome, welcome to all my new subscribers. I'm so excited to have you on my in my Y2 family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And to my existing subscribers, you know I love you guys to death. So with that being said, have a blessed day. And get out there and enjoy the wonderful things that are still blooming in your garden. Alright guys, take care and I'll see you in the next video.